This video is brought to you by, <laughs> not this one, the new and improved Soda, the shop of all retro cards and vinyl. What's up people, Dobsy Wolves is right here and welcome to a Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Well, last time when we did Duelist Pack Battle City, we did something unbelievable. We packed the Dark Magician and also the Winged Dragon of Ra Sphere Mode. What else were I looking for in this? Pretty much the other Ultra Rares and also the Red Eyes Black Dragon and the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I hope to god I pull them at any time. I have 10 packs, the all first edition. I can't wait to open them up right now, people. Should we do a mode of Horchan? Because it is less cards I'm hunting for. So, why not, people? <coughs> I'll clear my throat. And also, we're doing some Ultra Pro sleeves. We're using the awesome, slick, crystal clear Pro sleeves. And these are very good if you guys want to buy these, definitely buy them. I think it's the best quality you can get out of any sleeves. They're very thick and protective. Motorhaw, you weren't good last time. Please wake up, my friend. We're not doing the chant yet. Let's get this started. Cue the music. And please open up properly, thank you. And right off the bat, we have an awesome card as we do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them on the side here. So we have a Jax Knight, Gear with the Iron Knight, Rocket Warrior, a Rare Buster Blader. <laughs> Baby! First pack! And we got a Super Rare! And it is the Dark Magician Girl! We got Dark Magician, we got Dark Magician Girl, and we got the... Ring Dragon of Ross Sphere Mode, I cannot complain, I don't care if I get anything else, we got the awesome, the beautiful, the sexiest, on what people think about her, Dark Magician Girl! And that's the anime um, artwork if I recall. Boy, she looks awesome in that card. Um, so plus the blader right there, like you can do, put them on the side, let's sleeve them up. So yeah, these Ultra Pro sleeves. If you guys already see them, they are crystal clear. You can see the front and you can see the back. It's, they actually are really cool. If you like the artwork of the back of the cards and you don't want to hide them up, use them. So that was the first pack. Mode Horde, you weren't waked up, but boy, you gave me some either way. It's the heart of the cards, people. So first start, uh, I didn't expect that would happen. I expected something good like near the end, but blimey, I don't mind. I do not mind. So we have the Legendary Fisherman, Lord of D, he loves the D, Curse of the Master Beast, Flutes of the Summoning Dragon. Oh my god! I just bought this yesterday in a card shop for £1.95 as a gold rare. He was selling really cheap. Oh, Crush Card Virus! Damn, son! Oh, yeah! I love Crush Card Virus, if you guys want to know. I love this card. It's a shame it's banned. But oh my god, I want it so bad. It's such an amazing card. Really, it's so damn good. I mean, that, that's why it's banned, because of what it does. I remember when it was, I don't know if it's the same effect or not, but the um, effect it was years ago when I used to have it, it was um, monsters that are over 1500 attack points get destroyed, or they cannot be summoned. So all the way through the game, you had to use monsters from 1500 or below. Well, 1400 or below throughout the game to win, so it was a devastating card. And that was continuous, if you guys want to know, it was years ago, if I remember. I might be wrong. Curse of the Mass Beast, Gear 3 the Iron Knight, Toon Gemini Elf, I love my tunes, I'll put that on the side. Jack's Knight, and a Lava Golem. Okay. What set was he from? I think that was from uh, um, Marek. I remember. Um, you know, the one who actually had the Winged Dragon of Ra in Battle City. So, that's pretty good. Lava Golem. Lava Golem. Haven't had that card in years. I've only had it once, so it's good to have it again. As a rare this time, not an ultra. Oh, look at that beautiful Karibo. Oh, look at that guy. He's so cute. And it's the first card in the pack. Toon World. Oh, baby. Now, that's what we're talking about. And Black Luster Ritual. Hopefully, we can pull Black Luster Soldier. We got Crush Card Virus. Oh, nice! We got the Fiend Jester. 
Not bad. It was the first card I pulled in this in the um, in the set when I first got it. But crush card virus again. Two of them. I cannot complain. But another super rare. Not bad at all. I cannot complain, people. This pack opening is going to be absolutely amazing. I think. It's not OMG yet, we've not pulled three super rares. If it's an ultra, it's an OMFG, people. Oh yeah. Let's do it. And it's only been three packs, so... Is it three? No, four packs. Right. Yeah, four packs. This is the fifth pack. We're halfway through it, people. Halfway. We've got the Hysteric Party, Black Luster Ritual, the Flute of the Summoning Dragon, Blasphere, and a foolish burial. We had a lot of them in the last one, in that last opening, so uh, I don't want to get a lot of these. But even though they're so good, uh, I don't want any more of them. And I know this set is tiny, that's why I'm always um, saying to myself, I don't want to buy a boost box of this, because I've already bought like 20 packs of it, so uh, the commons are starting to get more and more easier. And also, a bit more awesome, we got Harpy Lady Sisters, which is good. We got Insect Queen, Enemy Controller, The Party, and Jinzo as a rare. There we go. Jinzo is actually a good card. I don't know if Joey Wheeler. Did Joey Wheeler use this card? I don't remember, but it's a good card. A lot of people love using this card in the past. I don't know if a lot of people still use it, but it's a shame that all the retro cards now don't even get used anymore, which is upsetting because. These were the start, this was the heart and soul of Yu-Gi-Oh! And now you got the XYZs and the Synchrons, it's like... Ugh, why? Just why on earth do I have to ruin it? So after the Mystical Stone Extravagation, Archfiend of Gerfried, Jack's Knight, we've got um, Dark Necrophir... Ah! OH MY GOD! BLUE EYES! WHITE! DRAGON! And it's the ultimate artwork from years ago! Baby, yes! That's what I'm talking about! Oh! Ooh, yeah! What a rush! Don't want to lose my voice before I go to work, which is in two days! Yeah, people, I'm still off. But, oh my god! Blue eyes! White! Dragon! Oh my god! This artwork... Doesn't has never been released anywhere else, people. I think this this card artwork is actually worlds at the behind it. There's a lot of other artworks that have something else behind it, but this one never got released all the time. It got released once, and it was I think it was a Shoyun jump, and now they got it in a pack. Oh yeah, baby! I can't believe we pulled it. We've got Dark Magician. We've got Dark Magician Girl. We've got the Ring Dragon of our Sphere Mode, and now we've got the Blue Eyes White Dragon. We're missing one more, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Hopefully some others as well. I think Black Luster Soldier's in the set and, um, oh god, I don't remember what the other Ultra Rares are. Because how many Ultra Rares are in this set? Four Ultra Rares. Ooh. I think it's a trap and a spell card that are the last Ultra Rares. But hopefully we pull something else, but this is an OMFG, people. An OMFG. Let's do this. Come on. My god, I cannot believe it. Queen's Knight, Legendary Fisherman, King's Knight, Time Wizard, which is good, and a Battle Dragon. Not bad at all. I'll put the Time Wizard on the side for myself because I love using that card. But we have two cards that we have to sleep up with my Dark Necrophia. Right there, not bad at all. We've got two packs, people. I don't mind if I get anything else now, people, because Blue Eyes Wacker Dragon. Was the, what was the main card that I wanted to get. The Flute of the Summoning Dragon, Elegant Egotist, Black Luster Soldier, we got the Masked Beast, and we got another Fiend Jester. Uh, not bad, but two of the same hollow. Uh, I don't like getting duplicate hollows. Even though they're good, but it's not the best ones. It always has to be the worst one of the set, I think. But hell, hell with it, we got the Masked Beast as a rare, which is good. I haven't seen that card in years. One more pack, people. Should we do a mode whore? Uh, I think we should. Mode whore, wake up and smell the coffee, mate. Stir up that pot. Today you're gonna make that gravy, mate. Mode whore, 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 mode whore. Let's do this. We've got Blasphere, Toon Dark Magician Girl, 
the I don't know that spell what it says, whatever. And then they asked me gear free and we got a buster blade. Ah. Well, again, then chance are not uh, starting to not work anymore. What the hell? Oh dear, we don't want to lose more to Horror because he's been a hard soul of this channel. Even though you guys have never ever seen him before. <laughs> but hell with it, we did very well today, people. We did extremely well. We got a lot, I've got a lot of cards that will help me in my jewels in the near future, which I can't wait to use again. But let's have a look at the rares that we obtained. Let me get all the duplicates together. There we go. So for our duplicates for the rares, we've got two crush card viruses, two buster bladers, we've got the masked beast, dark necrophia, bowel dragon. Jinzo, Foolish Burial, Lava Golem. Bing, that was quite a good rare pull right there, people. That Crush Card Virus, I always want to pull a lot more of them so I can use one. That's right, I'm going. I'm starting to get into the hollows now. Like, like I mean, like tons of duplicates. Might as well use them. We have the two Fiend Jesters, which were the only duplicate. We got Dark Magician Girl, as usual. Absolutely amazing, people. Very good. And the main card of the day, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I surely did. It, this was must have been one of the best pack openings that I've done for a while since that um, Ring Dragon of Ra. We've been always falling short for packs lately. So I'm extremely happy that we got something. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I surely did. And I'll see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon pack openings. And also, if you're into your Pokemon, check out in the description down below for the playlists of Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon from my past. And also, if you like your Pokemon and you like your code, check out in the, in the comments down below and leave a comment so I can give you them. For free, alright? They're free, okay, people? With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. The people I just leave goes to you guys for subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Modaha, you gave me the blue eyes white dragon and the dark magician girl. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Avenetric EX. Now that's what we're talking about. What a great start! I love a pack of big mouth. And I will only get myself one in for one. So I would have said I would not open it in for one. That's why I ordered myself another one and they only have